and we're going to go through this story. Okay? Now, there cried a certain woman, as this is in 2 Kings 4, verse 1 through 7. Now, there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in thy house? And, he, and she said, Thine handmaid hath not anything in the house save a pot of oil. And then he said, Go borrow three vessels, go borrow thee, not three, go borrow thee vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and shalt pour out into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him, shut the door upon her and upon her sons, who brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. And it came to pass when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil and pay the debt, pay thy debt, and live thou and thy children of the rest. Okay? So, this is the story. And, um, so, he tells her, at the end, he tells her to go sell the stuff that she had got, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to break this down. And, um, because I'm going to show you how this actually can be a coaching program. And I'm going to use it to actually coach you guys today, okay? When she came and told the man of God, he said, go sell the oil and pay, pay the debt and live the rest, you know, live with the rest with the children. So, if I were to title this coaching session, I would call it how to have a financial turnaround. How many of you know that there are millions of people in the world right now who would love to have a financial turnaround after 2020? Okay, so how to have a financial turnaround. The first thing you have to do, you've got to find yourself, when you find yourself in a desperate situation, don't sit there and drown in your tears and don't sit there and wallow in your misery. The first thing you have to do is you've got to seek a turnaround. And I know it sounds simple, and, but it is simple. Most people don't do it. Seek a turnaround. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to tell you what it means. It says, there cried a certain woman to, uh, um, there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, thy servant, um, saying, let me uh, read it so I get it right. Thy, thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditors came to take unto him my two sons and my bondmen. Okay? The creditors coming to take my kid right now. She's, she cried. This certain woman cried to Elijah. She's desperate. Okay. Well, it says the woman cried. It's, she just lost her husband. Now she's about to lose her children because in Bible times, if you owed somebody money and you couldn't pay them, they could take your family to be their slaves and till the year of Jubilee. And so now you've got this woman. She's lost the love of her life. Now she's about to lose the only thing she has left. And somehow it seems like it see, when trouble comes, it comes in droves. And then things start spiraling out of control. And if it's not bad enough, I've lost my husband. I've lost my provider. I've lost my soulmate. Now I'm about to lose my offspring too. I can't take it. But she didn't want, she didn't want to just lay down on the floor and cry. She went to somebody who she respected, who her husband respected. She went to him and told her story because she was looking for an answer. Hey, the answer you don't look for is an answer you can't find. Are you getting what I'm saying? I am putting the answer down. You do not, if you don't look for an answer, you can't find it. And so what you've got to do is you've got to seek a turnaround. I've talked about some of the ideas that you can use, some of the things, that, how to find what you're good at. Okay, well, you're, you're trying to find what you're good at. Let me tell you where to find it. I don't know. So what do you have to do? You look. You have to look everywhere. You have to seek for a turnaround. You have to look in all the books. You have to look in all the audio programs. You have to look at all the seminars you go to. You have to look at all the videos. You go look at as many coaches as you can. Find and afford to hire. Like, you got to look until you find it. And then when you find it, you got to go all in and do what they say. You seek a turnaround. See, I know that I have people in my life and friends and family who, when they saw me, they thought, they thought this joker was crazy. One of my brothers told me one time after he, he saw me... Um, doing all the work that I was doing, driving around, doing presentations. And I was sleeping in my car because we didn't have money for a hotel. I was sleeping in my car when I was traveling from presentation to presentation. I was working so hard. I was reading books. I was learning everything I could learn. And this is what he told me. He said, well, he told me this later after I was, after I was successful and we were, you know, we're, had become wealthy. And he saw my life then, now and he saw then. And he was talking to me and he said this. He said, when I saw you doing that, driving around, sleeping in your car, I thought you were crazy. I thought you were crazy and I wondered why you were wasting your time. This is what he said to me. So, 
I wasn't crazy. After my success, uh, I knew that I was going to have success. It became ev evident to everybody else, but he didn't believe that that would happen. He said, I saw you with your, you know, you didn't have money. You're doing all this stuff. And he'd wonder, he'd wonder why I didn't change what I was doing. And I remember telling him that number one, it was, it was an honor for him to realize that what I had done was worthwhile and that it mattered. And that to me, I knew, I knew it was going to work. I just didn't know. I didn't know the how yet because I hadn't done it before. You don't know the how until you've actually done it. Once you do it, now you know the how. That's how you teach it to someone else. But I, I've been, I was looking at marketing books. I was looking at personal developments. I look at mindset books and I hired coaches until finally one day. And what we say is we finally waned, one day, something clicked. Finally, one day it all clicked. One thing shed light on another thing. It shed light on another thing. It shed light on another thing. It shed light on another. All of a sudden one day I woke up and I could see. People say I could see. So she, this wife, she, she was looking for a turnaround. That's where it starts. By the way, you sit down and whine about your current situation. Go look where you, when you feel sorry for yourself because you lost so much in 2020, are you looking for a turnaround? You can cry yourself to sleep because you lost your job and your house, your car, or you can go look for a turnaround and all those things. I'm not minimizing the reality of those things. But um, my, a friend of mine just told me that he was going, he was walking into a restaurant to go eat and he parked his car and he's, you know, got a Bentley, whatever. He parks his car. He sees the car right beside his and there are blankets and pillows. It's obvious that somebody's living out of their car and that, that is a reality right now. And he felt so sad that that is the situation. And by the way, this friend of mine who does extremely well, he, um, if he, if he's at a restaurant, he sees people who are in the military and he'll put, he'll call the waitress over and pay for their meals, give an excellent tip, even though it wasn't his meal. He, he's constantly sharing his wealth and doing things to, to help other people. And that is what we're about. So you have got to seek a turnaround. And if you're going to turn your finances around, you have to, you have to seek it. You got to seek the turnaround and I might as well, I wish I could see your faces since it, the, the favorite thing for me is to be able to work at, like with my group of people where I get to see their faces. I get to know them. Okay. You have to seek a turnaround in order to seek a turnaround. You have to go find a turnaround. You, you have to seek it. You got to look for some answers, right? You got to, you got to go where the answers are. Where do you go? Look, a lot of people won't look for the answers. Do you know why? Because the biggest hindrance to learning is thinking that you already know.